Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm back. So, you're probably wondering where I was. Well, the truth is, I was actually busy being the boss in a video game. No joke, I'm not high. You want to see the proof? Oh, well, there you go. So let's not bullshit around and cut to the chase. So, today we have, for him, by Narcisse Rodriguez. So, let's get started with bottle design. I actually really like the bottle. It's basic and it does the job. So we got for him there, Narcisse Rodriguez there. No information on the bottom this time. And that's just about it, the most basic bottle ever. This is one of the few ones where all the information is actually on the box, but I've got my boxes in the garage, so I can't really be bothered getting all them out just to do a fucking review. So yeah, but yeah, for him, by Cesar Rodriguez, that's all it has. It's got a lovely grey tone to it, it's quite nice. Um, this seems to, I don't know what this is, but it's like encased in this grey part. The liquid's inside, but you can't actually see it moving unless you hold it out to the light. The liquid's not grey. Um, otherwise, it's like something from Muta, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> the mutagen! <laughs> but yeah, this is the Eau de Toilette. There's an Eau de Parfum and there's an Eau de Parfum Musk version. And I believe there's an oil version as well. This fucking thing is confusing as shit. So, let's take this gorgeous top off. Another thing is a lid. It sticks on really sturdy. You can lift it up by the lid. It comes off. It might seem a bit cheap. But it's nice. It just looks different. There's not many lids that have this square top these days. So, yeah. So how's the sprayer on this one? Really, really good. It's like Chiruti 1881. It's a good whoosh. You know, whoosh. It doesn't mess about. I like that. I love the bottle. I love the spray. I love the design. So far, this thing is a winner. And the minute I smelled this, I was like, damn. So let's talk about that. The smell. The most important fucking part. <sighs> yeah, I love overdosing and fragrance. What's it smell of? Just think. This is why I love the bottle. It smells like the bottle. I'm not kidding. It smells gloomy, grey, wet, but it's just so well blended. It's got an iris sort of note in there. How to describe this is just... Look at the fucking bottle, there you go. Just imagine how that would smell, done. But, um, yeah, pretty much grey, um, grey, gloomy day, rainy, sort of drizzly, you know. Yeah. That's what I think of, it's got a perfumey vibe. Sort of watery, like cucumbery, some people say. Yeah. Real love the smell. Amazing. So I've already discussed it. it smells like a gloomy, grey, wet day, which is the ultimate description. I'm serious. The minute you smell it, you'd be like, fuck, that Lex was right. Grey clouds, cloudy, dull, gloomy, that's what this thing is. It smells amazing. It's so well done. So, performance. If you want to wear this in a said gloomy day, it can't be a skin scent. Good thing it isn't. This thing lasts me a solid 10 to 12 hours longevity. And projection is pretty damn good as well. I get a good 3-4 to four hours of pretty decent projection at this. And settles down after that, but it's still pretty good. So, yeah, for performance, winner. Really, smells amazing. It works perfect. Another interesting thing about this is it's actually inspired by 80s powerhouses. Seriously. Um, Narciso Rodriguez loved those scents and he thought, hey... Let's make a modern 80s scent, and this is it. Smells great, smells refined, it's really good quality, heavy hitter, performs really well. I don't see anything wrong with this, it's a perfect example of a modern 80s scent. It's inspired by like fissures and stuff from back then. And yeah, I can see it, you can clearly see the DNA in there. Really well made, really well done. And it's not even that expensive either. Now another thing I have to mention is, I don't know if this has been reformulated. I've had this bottle for about two years, it might have been changed since then, and again I might have got an old stock bottle. If it has been reformulated, I'm going to fucking kill someone. I'm going to go to Narcisa Rodriguez's house and punch his fucking wife in the face. And kick his dog in the balls. 
If he has a cat, I'm going to skin it. Make a jumper out of it that says, fuck you. Now I have a cat skin jumper. Ho, ho, ho. And if you haven't seen Die Hard, well, I really wish you had, because that would be an awesome joke. But anyway, now that I'm calm again, let's talk about where you can wear this. If you can. <laughs> so, season-wise, I recommend this for all seasons. Maybe a tiny bit not so much in summer, but as long as you don't spray 50 sprays on and complain, you'll be fine. So, spring, I think, is the ultimate season for this. Sort of cold still, but not too warm. Spring, you know what I mean? Like, wet, it's rainy, but it's cold, it's chilly, nippy. That, that's what I think of when I think of this, spring. Summer, here's how you wear it in summer. Right, watch this. Just one tiny fucking dab. Or even just blow the collar and you're fine. That's you for summer. It'll perform. You don't have to complain. And it won't be cloying. That slightly perfumey vibe. That may be the only bad thing. Autumn and winter, however, is an excellent way to wear this as well. Because it's strong. It smells cold. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Smells cold. But it does. I'm not even, I'm not even high. It actually does. It smells like a cold, wet day. And colder weather... This works wonders. Um, I've had great experiences. I'm mean, coming home from college, putting it on in the morning, come back from a long hard day at college, snowy, winter jacket, and sitting back in the train and thinking, hmm, what's that lovely smell? Only to realise it's me. So yeah, it was still going after that and it, it worked out great. I had that watery wet hair and my jacket was sort of soaked a bit and everyone was wet and stuff and I just got this nice smell, watery. Um, so I had those sort of watering you know, that watery snow smell but mixed in with this and it just worked so well. It smelt, you know, it just worked out, it smelt so natural. It just worked out so well um, for that moment. So autumn, winter, you'll be fine. So how many sprays to wear? Well, this one I'm going to average it at about four sprays. Three to four sprays, depending on you. So four, um, shouldn't need to do any more than that. Maybe five or six pushing it, but... Should be fine, really. Should be fine, unless it's been reformulated. In case anyone from the Cesar Rodriguez is watching, you know what's going to happen if you reformulate this? I'm going to fucking reformulate you. It's going to be like North Korea. I won't just reformulate you. I'll reformulate your sons and daughters, and their naval offspring, and their naval offspring. And then a thousand years from now, he'll be sitting thinking, Oh God, if only we didn't reformulate that fragrance to save like 20 pence. Oh, we really shouldn't have done it. Yeah. So I've discussed what seasons you can wear this. But what use is that if you don't know where? So can you wear this to work? Yes, I think you can wear this in any workplace if you adjust the amount of sprays. But I think this would really work in an office environment with just a few sprays. Nice, you know, clean, ironed white shirt, you know formal attire, I think it's a really, really nice, you know, smell to accompany that, I think it smells very professional, you know, it just, someone that wears this, means business, they're not fucking around, you know, they're not there because, oh, I just wanted to use the water machine, no, they're there to make big fucking Wall Street deals, they're there to be all Gordon Gecko, you know, they're there to go up to people and go, sell me this pen, <laughs> okay, that's enough. But yeah, you can. You can also wear this on a date. Nice restaurant, or even the cinema, somewhere casual, but a nice restaurant. You know, you both have wine, you know, candlelit dinner, all romantic and shit. You've got your Rolex on. She's got a fancy Swarovski stuff. Tells you the story about how it used to belong to her mum and how it was salvaged from fucking World War Two or some shit. And you're all pretending you give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to my place. But anyway, I think it's about really well. I think this is, if you put the right sprays on, maybe three or four, it's heavy enough that you'll notice it, but not heavy enough to be like, hey, fuck you, bro. One punch, man. But it's it's got good performance, and it still smells light, and it still smells, you know, attractive and perfumey. It's just really seductive. I mean, this this thing is just one big fucking tunnel. I mean, this thing is just, wow, I mean, I could review this a thousand times and find a thousand different ways to describe it. I mean, seriously. It's, it's a masterpiece. It's excellent. It's going to get a 10 out of 10 before we've even done this review. So can you wear this clubbing? 
I think you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's just too damn nice to wear clubbing. Montal or something like that, or Aventus would be a better option. One million, if you, but I really do recommend it. It's so fucking popular, um, really. But you can wear it clubbing. I just wouldn't recommend it, but it's possible. It's just a bit too nice to wear clubbing. Depends, it was a really nice club, like James Bond club, you know, sort of things, and like layer cake. Where they've got the suit on and stuff. A club like that, high end, I think this would work really well, but if you go into your local student bar to drink one pound shots, don't recommend it so much. Go with uh, the Black XS line. So, we've covered that. What about casual wear? Can you wear this casually, going to the pub, going to McDonald's, going out for a steak at the local Wellspoons? Yep. You can wear this no problem casually. I prefer, I would dress this one up. It is a really well made scent, but you can wear it casually if you want to. It's also not that expensive. I think this one was like forty six pound or something, or forty eight pound for the hundred mils, which is really not that bad. I mean, that's like Moogler prices. So, formal event. You get a wedding coming up, something like that. You've got a wedding. Uh, you get a special occasion, work night out, something like that. And you need to dress up and look good. Well, I think it's worked really well for that. You get a nice suit on. You're all dressed up. You look good. I think it's worked really well for that. And if I invited someone to my wedding, they turned up smelling like this. I'd be like, damn. And you probably get laid at the wedding. Well, oh, you're single too, huh? Oh, I know. Seeing all these people getting married just really makes me feel, you know, so alone. Oh, you feel lonely too. <laughs> How about you down some uh, glasses of champagne and come back to my place? Oh, I really can't. I. <laughs> Oh, actually, that sounds like a good idea. See? Narcisa Rodriguez just got you laid. Yeah. Thank him. Say thank you. Thank you, Lord Rodriguez. Thank you so much, Rodriguez. You're making my life so good. Rodriguez. But yeah, <laughs> for the price, this is a bang for a buck alone. This is an excellent, excellent scent. I cannot recommend it enough. If you haven't got into the Narcisa Rodriguez line, or you're looking something just for something new in general, Definitely give this one a shot. Good performance, good smell, and it just it's just badass. It's just its just an incredible scent. It's inspired by 80s scents. It's a modern 80s scent. Not just a gimmick, it's a modern 80s scent done to perfection. This is on par with Reeve Gauche as far as modern old school. So do give it a sniff. You will not be disappointed. Anyhow guys, uh, glad to be back. Hope you enjoyed this review. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Any comments, any questions you have, leave them in the comments or send me a YouTube message. If you don't have Google+, Plus, contact me on Facebook. What did I say now? Oh yeah, uh, back to you as soon as possible. And as always, guys, keep on smelling fly. I just gave you a new, new scent to wear. There's no excuse not to smell fly, I swear to God. If I ever catch anyone in this channel not smelling fly, I'll be over there. I don't care where you live. I'll hunt you down and I'm going to...